by approving the delivery of cluster bombs to Ukraine as part of the campaign against Russia, the U.S. has sparked new humanitarian concerns. Multiple bomblets, which make up cluster bombs or cluster munitions, are used to cover a larger area than a single concentrated explosion. A treaty prohibiting their use has been ratified by more than 120 countries, including the UK, but Ukraine and Russia have both used them in the conflict. As part of Ukraine's counteroffensive against Russian forces, the US has chosen to send contentious cluster munitions there. Cluster bombs are a particularly lethal class of military weapon that contain numerous smaller submunitions or bomblets in one package. They are launched from the ground or the water, dropped from an aircraft, and when they open in mid-air, tens or even hundreds of these bomblets are released. Once released, the bomblets may end up covering an area as large as several football fields. Military personnel or civilians alike are very likely to die or suffer serious injuries if they are in the cluster munitions strike zone. According to Mark Hanschen, a senior advisor at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, cluster munitions got the nickname Steel Rain because of their intense and widespread effects. Unitary warheads, which contain a single explosive package, are the most popular substitute for cluster bombs. A cluster bomb is made up of a metal canister that is fired from the ground or the air and weighs typically 1,000 pounds. The canister begins to spin as it flies through the air and then bursts open, discharging 200 bomblets, each measuring about 8 inches long. These bomblets are designed to detonate when they hit the ground, sometimes with the aid of a parachute. Dud bomblets which are those that do not explode immediately after landing and can still be dangerous, are a common occurrence. When bomblets land, a small percentage of them fail to detonate, usually when they hit wet or spongy terrain. These useless items can stay in place for years or even decades with the potential to explode, acting like landmines and posing a risk of death or injury even after a conflict has ended. Children are especially at risk of dying or suffering limb loss when duds go off because they can be mistaken for other objects like rocks or even toys. Depending on where the cluster bombs are made, dud rates, or the proportion of bomblets that aren't effective, range from 2 to 40 percent. Russian cluster bombs tend to have a higher failure rate, around 40 percent, while U.S. cluster bombs typically have a lower failure rate, less than 5 percent. Cluster bombs can cause extensive and expensive cleanup operations, sometimes involving robots, to get rid of the useless bombs. As of July 2022, 689 casualties were reported in Ukraine as a result of cluster munitions attacks since the Russian invasion began on February 24, 2022, according to a report by Cluster Munition Monitor. These reported casualties included 215 fatalities and 474 injuries, which occasionally happened during indiscriminate shelling using other weapons in addition to cluster munitions. When their status was known, all of the victims in Ukraine were civilians. The cluster munition monitor found that, prior to the Russia-Ukraine war, 4,128 cluster munitions casualties were reported over a 10-year period from 2009 to 2018, with the majority occurring in Syria. When Ukraine asked for cluster bombs to help fight Russian forces, the Biden administration obliged. Although sending the cluster bombs was a difficult decision, according to President Biden, who acknowledged their humanitarian implications, he claimed that Ukraine was running out of ammunition. Both the UK and the US have been providing weapons to Ukraine, but the UK is different because it does not produce cluster bombs. A single munition can cover the same area as numerous so-called unitary projectiles because cluster munitions disperse bomblets over a large area. Kanchin explained that in order to achieve the same result, the Ukrainians would have to fire numerous projectiles with unitary warheads, 
depleting stockpiles and increasing the exposure of the firing batteries to Russian counterfire. Kenshin laments the fact that no one weapon or piece of ammunition will win the war. According to him, Ukrainian victory will be the result of the cumulative effect of the weapons and munitions provided by the United States, NATO, and global allies, training provided to the Ukrainian troops, and the resolve of the Ukrainian people. Having said that, cluster munitions are very effective against some targets and will strengthen Ukrainian military capabilities.